Hey everyone, welcome back to CGR Studio, where we explore the exciting world of 3D modeling and digital art. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take a high poly 3D model in Blender and convert it into a low poly version. Then seamlessly bake the details into Substance Painter for that stunning final look. Let's dive right in. First thing first, open up Blender and import your high poly 3D model. This could be something you sculpted or downloaded. Make sure it's high poly version with all details you want to capture. Next let's create a low poly version of our model. Duplicate your high poly mesh and start simplifying the geometry using uh, use technique like retopology or uh, create low poly version of your 3D model like I did. This step is crucial for optimizing the model for real time application or games. Now that we have our low poly model, it's time to unwrap the UVs. Proper UV mapping is essential for texture baking. Unwrap your model efficiently, making sure to minimize stressing and distortion. Blender UV editing tools came in handy for this task. When you export 3D files from Blender, use underscore low for low poly mesh and use underscore high for high poly model otherwise substance painter will not be able to recognize your 3d model and bake the details Here comes the exciting part, baking the details from the high poly model onto low poly version in Substance Painter. Click on new, select any template you want, select the low poly 3D model and all settings should be like this, auto unwrap should be unchecked. Click on ok, after that click on edit from the menu and click on the bake mesh maps and default settings should be good enough for this project add high poly mesh to high definition mesh slot like i did and click on bake start painting your textures the details you baked in substance painter will guide your brush strokes uh, give, giving you model that high fidelity appearance without the heavy polygon load and there you have it we have successfully converted a high poly 3d model into a low poly version and baked the details into Substance Painter for a stunning final result. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more exciting 3D modeling tutorials. Until next time, happy modeling.